Hi, my name is Chef Mark Dorman. Welcome to Wilson Talent Center uh, Culinary Arts. We could go from anything from uh, deep fat frying to roasting chickens to uh, making shrimp uh, skewers with steaks to pot roast. We also might do another section on salads. We do uh, another section on sauces, our mother sauces, and we go into soups. Many, many different things here in culinary arts that you would learn. Within your first year here at Wilson Talent Center Culinary, uh, you can earn up to four certifications. You can earn your Serve Safe uh, Food Handler, your Serve Safe Food Manager, and uh, your National Restaurant Association's Educational Foundations, Foundations 1 and 2 with Certificate of Achievement. If you pass all your certifications and you qualify for the second year here at Wilson Talent Center, you have the potential to be a full day student uh, running our catering, food truck, and potentially our coffee car operations. And you also can earn your HTMP level one and two with certificate of achievement, serve safe allergen, and your guest service gold tourism certification. A typical day that a student will go through is come in, get in a professional uniform, get in your chef's outfit. You would uh, also have non-slip uh, shoes. We just want to make sure we have hair restraints and that we're fully safe. What we do from there is uh, either pull out our computers if we're working on book work that day, or else the other day we'd have a lab. And that's usually what Chef uh, Bailey and I usually teach and we would do it right here. Typically what we do is I have our learning targets. You would uh, have it on the screen above you at each uh, one of your tables at your lab table. And that will go exactly tell you what we're doing that day, what we expect from you, what you will be learning and what the, the scope of the day will look like. And the second year students, our goal is for them to understand how to run a catering business and a food truck. So they are the managers, make contact with our potential clients, help them price out what their needs are, and then build their items such as fruit trays or mac and cheese on the food truck. We have great relationships within our community. Um, one of our big partners is uh, Michigan State University. We also do a lot with our own staff here at Ingham Intermediate School District. Our program is meant to be student-led and that is our goal. So as the instructional assistant, it is my job to help with that. I'm Zoe, I'm a second year student at the Wilson Talent Center for the Culinary Program. I also am a student at Fowlerville High School and I'm just gonna take you on a little tour today of the classroom. So over here we have our group of students who had just finished a challenge that we had today and this is their dish that they have plated. The main front area is where all of the first year students are and over here we have our instruction table where the teachers will do a lab for the students to see and they can see it right up on the TVs up over here. And from there we move back over here and we have all of the equipment that is for our students whether we have any challenges or anything we have going on for that day or just a lesson plan we have going. Back over in this area we have where mainly our second year students work. This is our work area and we have our baking table as well as other uh, equipment that we use on a daily basis. And from there we have over here, we have our dish area, which we clean all of our dishes once we are done with their use, and then they go back over in our pantry and dry goods area. What comes with this class, well, you get a bunch of great experience working in the industry because you are working with equipment and people and different challenges that you would get on the industry itself. We do, in class, challenges where we are given ingredients and we have to compose a dish and create it and plate it and then we are judged on it just like we would be in competition or at a restaurant. My favorite thing about the program would have to be the creativity portion of it. You're able to just create things that you believe would be good and what you think that other people would like as well. And you can go from as simple as a grilled cheese sandwich to as crazy as grilled shrimp and couscous like we created today.